Hello everyone, Gav, welcome to the Shedarium. Okay, so this video today I've just got like a sweet tub. Obviously you can see I've took the labels off. And um, what I'm gonna do with this one is, this for me now is gonna house a spider, a true spider, but I'm gonna call this the arena. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I've had, if you followed the channel and some of my other ones, I had a female, um, Heteropoda Giovanna, I think that's the corn for the stony huntsman, and had a load of babies, and I've given the babies away to various different people, and I've kept one left for myself. So, and this one was absolutely microscopic, and it's doing really, really well. And I'm not sure if you can see that in there. I don't know if that's gonna. Can you see it's on the leaf in there at the bottom? But I'm gonna get it out anyway and have a look. And I'll show you and I'll probably see if I can just get it on my hand to give you a better look on that one. But I want to do it in here and I'm going to call this the arena because it's like, obviously you see the size difference in this little pill vial. And there's a spider there. It's really small, but it's the way these ones feed. Um, they are like, they sort of get elevated and they will look around and they have got good eyesight. From what I've seen looking after the others, they've got really good eyesight and they sit up elevated and they will watch if they're hungry they will move in a certain position and angle themselves like a dart and then when they're ready they'll just strike and they'll go at it so what i want to do is put obviously some substrate do this one up to the point where i've got places where it can sit either side but then empty in the middle just so then it can angle itself all around and then attack in the middle and then it can give me some good footage so you guys can see as this one grows because this one's doing really well and we can watch it attack and obviously you know start consuming its prey so that's what i'm going to call this container the arena and um that is my stony huntsman so let's crack on with this video So I'm happy with that. So fix those two in there. Just tidy up this glue. And then hopefully put some substrate in. And then we've got a focal point in the middle, hopefully. Okay, so we've got little tiny water dishes in random areas. Right, so as you can see, fixed in place so I'm creating a uh, as I said an arena um, because I know that the huntsman will hide on both of these and this is absolutely massive for it at the minute but at least it gives it somewhere to hide and it would give me some really good viewing for it as well plus it can hide behind as you can see it can hide behind there as well but then also when I feed it if I can always feed in the same spot then it will know when it's hungry to go there, hopefully, saying that. So you can train it to go there, right in the middle of that valley. Just thinking I'm missing something else. There we have it, so I've got that bit in as well. I'll give you a better look in a second. There, I think that's pretty good. So the water dish is on the top, really shallow substrate. Um, really stuck in there, caught butt glued in both sides, but angled into the middle. And then I've put this piece down the bottom as well. There you go, so it's fixed in. So this bit here is not um, touching the soil at the bottom, but angled into the middle, because I want to see if the huntsman can sit either side of these and then drop down into the middle. So 
I think that's pretty good. So let's get uh, the huntsman in. Some water in. Okay, you can see, so huntsman time. No idea how I'm gonna get it in there, but let's just go. There you go, you can see the huntsman there. I've had this for quite some time now. There's a really, really tiny sling, but it's um, growing well. Go. Hopefully that can focus. There we go. It's just that stance. I absolutely love it, especially when it goes to feed as well. So I can try once we've got this one in. And there we go. Better shot. Still small at the minute, but they do get to a decent size and they can jump as well. So let's see if we can get this one in. Hmm, which way should I put it? I want to go on this one. So let's see if I can gently nudge it onto here. This is going to give it plenty of room to grow as well. So let's go. Come on, bud. See how fast you are. Nope, refusing to move. Oh, gone. Disappeared. Hopefully I caught that on the camera. Now I've got no idea where it's gone. So let's have a look. I've found it. That took me some time. But there you go. If you can see there. Let's see if I can get my finger and... Uh, there it is. Right in front of my finger at the bottom. It is so well camouflaged on these bits of wood. And it was just bolting around everywhere. And um, it just sat there. So it was on the bottom at the minute until it finds these pieces of wood here and it will just sit there on it because it is so well camouflaged on those bits of wood you can see the color is exactly the same so that's what it will do once it dries out but I have to put a bit of moisture in there once it dries out it will sit there and then obviously that central piece in here is where i'm going to do the feeding and hopefully it should sit either of these points and it will dart down as quick as it can there you go so it's gone underneath that port that point that i wanted so that's it so that's that all done for the uh stony huntsman arena i hope you like that video and um i'll see if i can get a feed of it and uh put that on there as well so thanks very much you can't see that there but i just um fed the huntsman and it worked perfectly it's exactly what i wanted i've got fruit flies in there crawling around and it pounced down and got one but it is now trying to get you a shot of it if you can see the eyes just under that bit there at the bottom but it has taken ah, there we go there we go so you can see that there underneath sorry it's not very a good shot there but it's all sprayed but it literally worked perfectly it just jumps straight down you can see it moving there it's got the fruit fly and it's absolutely eaten so it worked down to a t i didn't expect it to eat straight away i've only literally just rehoused it so it's done in the same video but i thought i'd chuck a couple of fruit flies in it just pounced straight down ran down and ran straight back up onto that court back underneath so this is working out perfectly and this is going to be a really good setup for quite a while and i think with this i'll do this as it grows up and gets larger and just put it in a larger enclosure but do the same sort of thing but i'm glad i've got a feed on there as well that you can definitely see that chomping away and it's eaten so that worked perfectly so thanks very much for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one